Welcome back to the channel. You might notice the studio looks a little different today. That's because I imported these illegal Pokemon products from Timu.com for your entertainment. So make sure to subscribe to the channel. We're almost at 1,000. Wait, what are you doing what are you, over there? What are you talking How you about? you get Pokemon there's, products in there's here? There's no Pokemon products Why in here. Why is there a camera in there? I don't have a cam- I'm not talking to a camera. What are you doing? Get out of here, bro. What do you- what do you want? Today we got another mother Timu video. I ordered some illegal Pokemon products. If you're the Pokemon company watching this video, just don't. So let's get into it without further ado. All right, we got Pet Elf Go. We're gonna find out what the heck is going on in here and see what exactly a pet elf is. Okay, so they're little uh, Pokeballs, or should I say pet elf balls. Time out. Okay, hold on. I didn't mean that. Okay. Let's see what's inside, actually. Oh my god, I can't even get this open. What the heck is this? Huh? What? <laughs> it comes with stickers? There's an Almanite sticker? And... <laughs> Machamp... A Machamp sticker? <laughs> Bruh. Bruh. <laughs> Who made this? And... <laughs> is that Manamphy? <laughs> what the heck? My brother, who... Like, what is that? That looks like an alien. <laughs> That is definitely not a Pokemon. It's some sort of pet elf, I will say that. Okay, let's. We got 11 more of these to open, so let's get into these. I don't think I've seen that kind of Pokeball before with the letters on there. Is that GS or something? A gold silver ball? Okay, oh my gosh, these are so hard to get open. So we got the stickers here. So we got a Tangela, and we got a Breloom sticker, so those go pretty hard. Uh, someone who comments on this video. I'll actually give away some of these stickers if you y'all want me to send them to you. So drop a comment if you want any of these figures. This is made in 2005. How long has this been in there? Jeez, my guy's rotting away in there for 19 years. <laughs> Good lord. Uh, if you want any of the stuff I'm opening, drop a comment and one lucky person. I'll actually give away some of this stuff. So what the heck is that? That's supposed to be like cutie fly or something? Or, I don't even, like, why is it blue? What blue butterfly is there? We got some more stickers. So there you go, Caterpie and the other, oh my goodness, this is so bent, I can't even see who that is. All right, some stickers for you. And we're gonna move on to the next one here. So a nice pink ball. And who do we got in here? Okay, so we got Corsola in here. Look at, that one goes pretty hard. I mean, Corsola, I don't think has the blue on it. Maybe because it was splashed around in the water or the, like the ink in the factory. So we got Victory Bell. What should I do with these stickers? I mean, I'll give some away, but oh, okay. We got, a, we got a shiny Swampert there. Moving on to the Ultra Ball. These are definitely a little bit hand painted, I would say, but we're moving. Okay, so we got a camera erupt, erupting from this Pokeball here, so we, <laughs> look at his face, why does he look like that? He looks so angry, like he's just been stewing away in there for 19 years since allegedly 2005 these have been kept in here. Brother, help me! So, oh my goodness, I just dropped him, just end, let's just end his life right there, That's his entire existence was for this video. So there we go, a couple more stickers that are extra faded. I don't know who, like where those stickers are from, like if they're actually Pokemon stickers or if they're just somebody had an extra piece of paper in their printer and decided to print some off at the factory. So we got Mankey and, oh, we got a Gengar sticker. Okay, that goes pretty hard. And who do we got? We got a Golduck. Okay, that one actually good. <laughs> Look, why is his face like covered in dirt? Do you see that? He's got like dirt all over his face. Look at his webbed feet. Oh my goodness, that guy's in rough shape. He's definitely been fighting demons in there. All right, we're gonna move on to the next one here. This one looks like a Harry Potter Pokeball there with the symbol on the front. And what Pokemon do we got in here? Okay, I think it's one of the OG. So these stickers are actually stuck together. That's kind of cool. And we got the OG number one Bulbasaur. Ew, it looks like, ah, I got like dirt on my hand from that. Put him to the side. We might keep some of these guys on the set, so watch out in future videos. You might see some of these guys make an appearance in the videos in the background. What Pokemon is that? What the heck? I have never seen a purple and white Pokemon. Is that supposed to be Mighty Anna? Like, what the heck? Look at his like blood on his eye. Oh my goodness, bro. Like, what happened to this wolf? 
What wolf? Po is that a new Pokemon that we haven't seen yet? Okay, I'm gonna like keep an eye out in the future generations of Pokemon if there's a purple and white wolf because that uh, might be foreshadowing, you know what I'm saying? So we got the love ball or something like that. And who do we got in here? We got an Ekin sticker and a Persian sticker. So they're in no particular order. You got number 44 and number 60. And we got a Trap Inch just howling at the moon there. So Trap Inch looking not terrible. He's got like a tiny little tail on him for some reason. So we're gonna move on to this ball here. See what we got. And who the heck is this? Is this Silcoon or Cascoon? One of the worm Wormpool's evolutions there? Okay, I think I got it upside down. There we go. Just looks like a sea urchin or something of some sort, but uh, poorly painted nonetheless. We got another Tangela and a bay leaf sticker. So we've doubled up now on the stickers. I think that's a bit of a ripoff considering there's only 12 of these balls and there's like 700 or over a thousand Pokemon now. That's crazy. Uh, so we got a pale Electabuzz. My guy has not seen the sun in over 19 years. He's looking a little extra pale today. So there we go, an Electabuzz with the tiger stripes on him. So he's looking extra, a little extra silly with his eyes painted in an upwards direction there. And then we have a Meowth and a Feraligator sticker, which actually goes pretty hard. So those are kind of cool. And last but not least, we're gonna get this stupid pet elf garbage out of here. We got this Master Ball with some nice asbestos on the top of it there. So hopefully I don't breathe that in. Should be wearing a mask actually. And let's see, who do we, is that Pichu? What the heck, we got a Pichu. We got Pichu, look at his little face. He looks like that one card of Pikachu. I'll put it on screen. It reminds me of that one card of Pikachu where his head is like dented in. He looks kind of silly. And the last couple stickers we got are an Ariados and Electrode. So feel free to screenshot because those go extra hard. So we got some bootleg obsidian flames. So watch out, children under three are not allowed to play with these. And we got this weird Pokemon box. I haven't, I don't know if there's packs in it or if it's just cards. Jeez, okay. Just scratch that open, there we go. Doesn't matter if I damage it. All right, so we're gonna rip this box open here and find out what the heck is inside this weird box. It's not Pokemon that made this. It's some deep, dark web corner of the internet that these cards came from. So it looks like there's just gonna be a couple cubes of cards here. <laughs> and as they bounce out of the box. Okay, so this is not, this is 151. This isn't Obsidian Flames. This one is Obsidian Flames. We'll open those last. Hopefully I can pull the Godforsaken Charizard out of this box because as you know, uh, fans of the channel, members of the Trav Pack, that's right, don't forget to subscribe. Join the Trav Pack. We're almost at 1,000 subscribers. And if I can get this open and continue what I was talking about, I have not pulled any Charizards from Obsidian Flames. So for some reason, my luck has just been absolutely terrible with that set. And I have not yet pulled any of the Charizards from that set. Okay, so this looks like a full set of 151. So we're just gonna flip through. Oh, there we go, Charizard for you right off the rip. So we got, yeah, okay. This is just, <laughs> what the heck? This is just the full 151. Oh no, that's Obsidian Flames. All right, we're, okay. Oh, there we go, the Charizard. Okay, so there's one Charizard on the day from Obsidian Flames. So we got an absolute stack of EXs here. So we got a Melmetal, Dragonite, Greedent. Okay, these are all cards I haven't seen before because obviously I haven't pulled every single card in every single set. These are promos, that's cool. Another promo. Okay, Pikachu EX, let's go. So the hollow on these is just terrible. Oh, Gold Mew? And a gold Meow Scarada, okay. So there we go, the gold Mew, looking extra awesome. And look at how damaged that yeah. is. It's just like, you could peel that off. And let's just, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna get right into this here. See what we can, yeah, okay. This is just garbage. Look at that, okay. Okay, there we go. So yeah, just gold foil literally slapped on some cardboard at your local print shop. R.I.P. Mew, can we please, somebody drop an F in the comments to pay respect for Gold Mew for dying for our sins today because these cards are, should not be allowed. They're just so terrible. So we got Meow Scarado, what the heck, okay. Skelly Dirge, Koi Quavel, Chen Pao, Ting Lu. These are all, you just got a lineup of gold, okay, now we're into the full arts. 
Now we're getting into the expensive stuff here. So if this video gets 500 likes, I will send some of these cards to PSA and probably get banned from there. Um, I am gonna have a video coming up where, okay, I actually pulled the Alakazam EX, that's cool. Let me take a quick break, I'll find the real one, put it side by side. So this is the card that I actually pulled on the channel in the 151 video, and this is the fake. So, can you spot the fake? <laughs> Obviously this one is the real one because it's in a case, but if you were just looking at that, would you know that that was fake? All right. So as I was saying, I am going to be opening up, I sent a bunch of cards away to PSA. I will be opening up those on the channel at some point here down the line. So keep tuned, stay tuned for that video. Uh, it'll be a PSA reveal. I haven't looked at any of the grades online. I've been keeping it top secret so that I can open them and react on the channel, which will be awesome. So now we're into the Obsidian Flames cards here. So we're getting serious. So we're gonna flip and rip. So we got Ice Q, the old Fire Penguin. We got Tyranitar, Vespaquin. Okay, I don't like the way I'm doing this. Let's, okay. All right, so we're gonna keep, these look like almost like 3D kind of. They got like a weird pattern to them. I don't really know how to explain it. Like, it looks like there's texture underneath of that hollow. Okay, there's a Charizard. That is that the promo? It looks like the promo from that box. All right, so we got Pidgeot. We've actually pulled that card. There's the Fire Penguin. Oh, there we go, the Charizard. Let's go. My first Charizard pulled from Obsidian Flames, the awesome extra rare one. We're just gonna flip through these because these cards are absolutely painful to look at because i just want all of them to be real but they're not oh that's a, such a cool annihilate card i haven't seen that one in person that one goes extra hard and what's your uh what's your new favorite pokemon from the scarlet and violet era i would have to say annihilate is definitely a fan favorite one of my favorites loved Mankey and primate growing up so pretty cool to see that guy get an extra evolution so we got Squawkabilly, we got Spidops, we got Arcanine, there we go, Gyarados. So these are from the Scarlet Violet set now. Magnezone, Gardevoir, that one goes hard. We got Bennett, Great Tusk EX, we got Toxicroak, Iron Treads, Oinkalone, we got Spidops again, Maridon. Okay, Gardevoir, there we go, that's a cool card. We got Great Tusk EX, and we got a Coridon EX to end that card, that Look at this stack of useless cardboard now. This is the FBI. I'm going to have to burn this because the FBI is going to use this evidence against me in court because those cards are definitely not allowed anywhere ever. It is the last package of the day today. And let's find out what we got. I can't remember what exactly I ordered. It's what is this cardboard? Okay. So who is that? Is that number six? Is that Charizard? What the heck? Oh, okay, what the heck? This is like the original like Pokemon cards were made to look like this, like the Pocket Monster set. So let's get this guy out of this plastic if I can. Oh God, is it stuck in there? Oh no, okay, there we go. Nice, so we got a Pocket Monster Charizard card to end this video. Thank you so much for watching and suffering through this video. If this is the last video I upload, I will see you from the other side from behind bars. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to watch another video down here, and we will see you again soon. Peace.